This section will describe the basic building blocks of an integration solution for Ensemble and HealthShare. By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to identify and explain the parts of an integration solution, business services, business processes, and business operations. An integration solution is known as a production. A production is designed to connect applications using a wide variety of technologies and protocols. A production is composed of the pieces that handle inbound and outbound connections, as well as the pieces that control the internal flow of information. These pieces are called business services, business processes, and business operations. In a production, the inbound connection points are known as business services, while the outbound connection points are known as business operations. Business services accept all the data that goes into a production. They connect to systems and applications that need to be part of the integration solution. Some applications that may send data to a production include a hospital's admitting system, a lab system sending results, a car auctions registration system, or almost any other computer-based system. Business operations send data from a production to other applications. For example, if a production needs to send a hospital admit message to an insurance application, it would be sent through a business operation. A production would use a business operation to send a lab report to a clinician's office. A business operation can also send a request and receive a response for further processing. Business services and business operations handle the technology used for connections such as TCP IP, flat files, SOAP, FTP, and HTTP. Which technology is used by the business service or business operation depends on the sending or receiving applications. One of the most popular technologies used to send data, especially in healthcare, is TCP. A business service can be used to connect to and accept data from a system sending via TCP. A business operation can connect to a receiving system and send data via TCP. As REST and SOAP web services continue to grow in popularity, REST and SOAP business services and business operations will become more common. Business services and business operations typically use adapters to handle the specific technology and protocol used to communicate with an application. An adapter that accepts data for a business service is called an inbound adapter. An adapter that works with a business operation to send data is called an outbound adapter. Although it is not required that a business service or business operation uses an adapter, most do. Business services and business operations with their associated adapters, handle everything related to the connection, such as making the initial connection, retrying a message on failure, or timing out after a designated period of time. A business process is used to implement business logic that decides where an incoming request should be sent, as well as to orchestrate calls to business operations which will communicate with external applications and resources to retrieve data. A business process can send requests to many business operations or to other business processes if further logic or flow control is needed. A business process would send a request to a business operation when it needs to communicate outside of the production. For example, if the business process determined that data was needed from an external patient database, it would send a request to a business operation that would query the patient database and return a query result. The business operation would then send a response to the business process for further processing. A large production may have hundreds of components. 
it will typically have one business service for every application sending it data, as well as one business operation for every application receiving data or requests. The number of business processes depends on the design of the production and the logic needed for the particular integration solution. Let's review the high-level functions of each part of a production. Adapters handle the specific technology needed for communication with applications sending data into or receiving data from a production. Business services bring data into the production. Business processes orchestrate communication with external applications and resources. Business processes do not communicate outside of the production. Business operations send data out of the production. Here we see a production in the configuration page of the management portal. Business services are listed on the left. Business processes are in the middle and business operations on the right. So in this production, there are two business services three business processes, and 10 business operations. In a production, the term component refers to a business service, business process, or business operation. This production has 15 total business components. Business components in a production can also be referred to as configuration items or business hosts. Business components within a production communicate with each other by sending messages. So, when a business service creates its first message, it will typically send it to a business process. The business process may then send a request message to a business operation and get a response message back. As you can imagine, messages are an integral part of an integration solution. Messages are the communication mechanism between components in a production. There are request messages and response messages. Not every request message has a corresponding response message, however. For example, a business process could send a request message to a business operation that sends an email notification, but the business process does not need a response message from the business operation. Components that work with HL7 messages typically do not send a response message back. Healthcare applications often communicate by sending and receiving HL7 messages. Healthshare integration solutions provide pre-built business components to accept, route, and send HL7 messages. Here are some things to keep in mind about these specialized components. HL7 Business Services accept HL7 data from healthcare applications such as a hospital admittance system. The business service creates the first message and typically sends it to a business process. The HL7 Business Process uses the attributes or the contents of the HL7 message to determine where to route the message. Finally, HL7 business operations send HL7 data to applications that accept them. Pre-built HL7 business services and business operations each use an adapter to accept or send HL7 data. They can use the TCP, file, SOAP, FTP, or HTTP adapter. TCP is the most common communication protocol used by HL7 applications. Thus, pre-built HL7 business services typically use the TCP inbound adapter, and pre-built HL7 business operations typically use the TCP outbound adapter.